Orders are orders. This doesn't concern you. Can't let them get away. You have to tell us. Arresting. You know who? Excuse me. I recognize you. We're neighbors. I've seen you in our building. You're very difficult to miss. By chance, did someone send you to investigate? No, no one sent me. What happened here? It's horrible. An augmented woman was killed, just outside of where we live. She looks like she was my age. Do you have any idea who she was? No. I've never seen her before. It's so sad that nothing will be done about this. Org victims are not high on the list of police priorities. To them, it's like a dog lying in the street. You... you're not a cop, are you? I work with someone else. Another agency. That's perfect. You outrank the police? Depends who you ask. The detective here. He... he's not willing. I got the feeling he doesn't care. What about you? What's your interest in all this? Morbid curiosity? God, no. I want nothing more than to go home. Detective Montag, he's making me stay. He... he thinks I saw something. Did you see something? Maybe. I think I would rather not say, to be honest. Because if I had seen something, and if I started talking about it, wouldn't that put me in danger? You might already be in danger. Killer might see you as a loose end. What? Might already be waiting to get you alone. Please, stop! The point I'm trying to make is, if you saw something, you should tell the police. The more you can remember, the better the odds of the killer getting caught. I know. It's just that I don't trust the police. I would feel safer with someone like you. You have more reason to be invested in this than they do. You're augmented, like the victim was. And you look like you could actually protect me. It's not my case. But maybe you could help. Please, neighbor. Talk to Detective Montag. At least see how it's going. Make sure he doesn't think he's on vacation just because the victim is an orc. I'll talk to the officer in charge and see where he is with the investigation. If I can help him, I will. Thank you. Suppose I end up remembering something later. Is there a way for me to contact you? You planning to run off on me already? The first chance I get. There are times for standing in the cold, but this isn't one of them. I can give you access to my info link. You should feel free to use it if you have to. Thank you, neighbor. Talk to you about what happened. How come she talks to him and not to me? So, Daria was actually talking to you, huh? I could barely get two words out of her. What did she say? Did she see anything? You mean your witness over there? She's... She's not sure yet. <laughs> How can she not be sure? Either she saw something or she didn't. She's scared. She thinks she might be in danger. I told her she'll be fine and that whoever did this would be caught. I'd like to believe that's true. Sure, so would I. But as you can see, the victim was like you. Augmented. That makes things a little more complicated, eh? Being a cop in this city, it's not always about doing the right thing. Or about doing things the right way. I was a cop for 12 years. I know all about getting bad orders. The difference between what you're told to do and what you know is right. Tell me about it. So, how did you reconcile yourself with, uh, those kinds of orders? I quit. <laughs> I'm two months away from the beach. I'm not quitting. But I respect your idealism. It was a long time ago. I work for Interpol now. Interpol, huh? Listen, off the record, I've been told to forego any unnecessary investigation. 
I want you to know, it's not my idea of how things should be done. Who told you to forego the investigation? <sighs> Men who spend more time making policies than arrests. They want the victim's husband, Johnny Gunn, ex-PMC operative. Heavily augmented. All right. So if you're not comfortable with this, if you know things aren't being handled the way they should, why not do something about it? I thought I just did. Just because my hands are tied doesn't mean Interpol can't conduct a parallel investigation. Crime scene's right over there, and Johnny lives just a couple of blocks from here. I never said I was gonna work your case for you. Uh, sure you did. Isn't that more or less the promise you made your little friend over there? She won't talk to a cop because she doesn't trust us. Smart girl. Look. My orders are to arrest the husband. You take a look around, get to Johnny before my guys do, who knows? Maybe we'll actually learn something. I'll let you know what I find. Careful of the evidence. Interpol. Who do they think they are? Away from the crime scene. Because Montag trusts him, doesn't mean I do. Hmm. I think he found something. Pretty obvious what happened here. Are you a journalist? No, but she was. She had ended. Away from the crime scene, sir. We've got nothing else to say. Enjoying yourself, detective. I have some questions about the murder. Before we go any further with this, I need you to know something about Johnny Gunn. He's... He's not a good man. I may not like how my bosses are targeting him, but that doesn't mean he's innocent. So, you know, just make sure you're here for the right reasons. Why else would I be here? I don't want this to turn into some kind of crusade. Bad men do bad things. In a perfect world, we arrest them for the right reasons, but, well, the world's not always perfect. People hold a hell of a grudge against dogs, ever since the incident. Yes, and? Well, good thing the cops here are such professionals. Part of being a police officer is treating everyone the same, right? Og or no Og. It's not that simple, and you know it. A police force isn't some abstract ideal of what justice and law should be. It's an instrument of those in power. A reflection of the society it protects. I haven't been seeing a whole lot of protection out there. Well, that depends who you ask. You'll only arrest the victim's husband if the evidence tells you to, right? I'll hold my guys off for as long as I can. Yeah. Why are you trusting me, exactly? Because you gave me the impression of being qualified. Because I'm big enough to admit that maybe I can use the help, and... between you and me? Because the thought of confronting a man like Johnny Gunn scares the shit out of me. I'm here because I don't like the idea of someone killing people right outside my window. Maybe he's out there right now. Targeting that poor witness. Or maybe he's just looking for any chance to do it again. Fair enough, Mr. Interpol. Do you know if the victim had any enemies? I know she and Johnny didn't get along. Other than that, I really couldn't tell you. 
Were you able to get anything out of the witness? Who? Oh, little Miss Mousy? I was under the impression Daria was your domain. Tell me about the victim's husband, Johnny. He used to work for a private military company, Bell Tower. Why are your superiors so eager to pin Johnny for murder? It's gotta be more than just not liking the guy. Standard policy for guys like Johnny. The way they see it, you send a man like him into Golem City, and he's liable to go off the grid, end up with Arkor, God knows who. He becomes ten times more trouble than he's worth. But, if they can charge him with something big, something like murder, well, suddenly he's no trouble at all. Did the killer leave anything behind? Does anything strike you as odd? I don't know. It's a murder, you know? Doesn't matter if you look at it sideways or upside down. It's never going to look normal. I'm assuming you know her augments were harvested. The marks on her body make it seem like the killer knew exactly what he was doing, knew exactly what he wanted. Maybe Johnny wanted something to remember her by. Or maybe someone found a dead body and started cutting. There's a lot of scavengers around here. To them, taking an arm is like taking a wallet. I found a broken needle stuck in the victim's shoulder. The killer might have drugged Angela before killing her. Needle, huh? Hmm. In which shoulder? The right shoulder, why? It's probably nothing. I just remember this other cop, Smolinski. He had this theory about a copycat. Someone following in the footsteps of an old murderer named, um, Svobodka. You think there's a connection to another case? I don't know yet. Some of the things you've been noticing, I'll be honest, they're starting to sound very familiar. Someone like you would probably say it's worth looking into. And how would I do that? Smolinski died in that police station bombing. If any of his files survived, they would have been moved into temp storage. I found a print on Angela's neck, next to the contusion marks. It's a partial, so I don't think we can match it to anything. But at least we know the killer left something, and that she was strangled. Huh, a fingerprint. I must have missed that one. This is exactly the kind of evidence I'm talking about. No way Johnny could squirm his way out of something like that. Anything I should know about the scene? The dismembered body jumps out at me. Keep in mind, I've been behind a desk for the last 12 years. I found what looks like a grenade fragment. EMP by the looks of it. Interesting. Johnny wouldn't need an EMP to take down his wife. Riot police use EMPs to re-establish public order around here. With all the AUG riots, anti-AUG riots, it wouldn't surprise me if that's all it was. Still, interesting. I found this piece of glass near the body. A pair of broken glasses, maybe? I don't know what to tell you. We're in the back alley of a major city. There's bound to be broken glass. I found this press ID on the victim. Okay, enlighten me. We care about this... why? Angela Gunn was a journalist. Maybe this is work-related. Maybe. I have what I need for now. I should go. Don't forget to question Daria. I have some questions for you. I will cooperate. What were you doing here? I was looking for Starlight, my cat. Where were you exactly? In the shadows. My head was down. I couldn't move. Oh God, stupid Daria. I shouldn't have gone out today. The energies were all wrong. 
Why is it you don't trust the police to take care of this case? I have bad memories of the police. What kind of memories? Get calls I didn't want. Tickets I didn't deserve. The policemen here are, are worse than children. Former captains of high school sports teams will never recapture their years of glory. I was captain of the debate team in high school. Yes, well, debate is different. How did the attack happen? What was the killer doing? He was on top of her, cutting the evil out. That's what he called it. I, I, I mean, I think. So you heard his voice? Very clearly, yes. He sounded confident, authoritarian, like... What did he say, exactly? It is time to make you whole again. Can you remember anything about what the killer looks like? To be honest, I saw more of the shadow than the man. So you can't describe him? Not the face, no. His clothes, he was wearing something very dark, uh, black, maybe blue. Was he augmented? He moved like an augmented man, but I can't say for sure. I'm gonna do what I can to help the investigation. Good luck. Gruesome, isn't it? You think I... It was just a matter of time before they got her. Before who got her? She's that journalist. The one writing all those things about... You know who. You'll have to fill me in. Radko Maximilian Perry? The local anti-Alg politician? That's Angela Gunn lying there. She's the one that's been writing about him. There was a threat of a scandal and everything. Coincidence? Sounds like someone should go after this guy, ask him some questions. That's exactly what I'm saying. Just, if you do that, please don't mention me. What else can you tell me about Radko? The guy's a sleazy piece of shit. That's all there is to it. And you think he's capable of murder? Absolutely. Did you actually see anything? I just got here, so I see what you see. Thanks. You think I don't know what's going on here? You think I don't know what's going on here? Come on, you know how this goes. Of course, officer. One moment. Transmitting ID scan? Got it. 
Everything checks out. You're free to go. Welcome to Future Last, where old is gold. I'm looking for something that can read an old memory disk. Wow. Last time I saw one of those, I was cleaning out Granny's apartment. Retro revival, am I right? You don't say. So if you don't mind my asking, where'd you get it? Granny's apartment, like you said. You know, I wish I had more stuff like this here. Don't tell my manager I said this, but most of our inventory is kind of crap. Good to know. Now, if only I had something that could read it. All right, right, right. Listen, it's just like I told the other guy. Data readers are real collector's items right now. Super rare. And this is the only place that carries them. So I feel it's my obligation to warn you this could get pricey. But don't worry. I'm going to make sure you don't walk out of future last unhappy. Future last, huh? Tell me about your store. Did you rebrand recently? Get bought out? Not that I know of. That's a, a strange thing to ask. A future last, I'm pretty sure that's what it says outside. You, uh, you came for a reader, right? Uh, like the other guy. The name Future Last. It's not the name of the store. If you worked here, you'd know that. How did you... Oh, jeez. I'm... If I've offended you somehow... Who are you? Sir, I'm just a guy here at Future... whatever the hell it's called. And I'm real eager to solve our mutual memory disk problem. It's my job. You know, everything you need, everything you're looking for is waiting for you in the basement. I made sure of that. Who do you work for? That's a complicated question. The way it all works nowadays, everything's so connected. I bet if you and I push it far enough, trace the paychecks all the way to the end, we both answer to the same people. I'm tired of playing games. Well, I'm not. You know, I gotta tell you, meeting people is the best part of my job. And you obviously want to get to know me better, so before we go ahead and take care of business, why don't you take a free shot? I'm curious, who is it you think I am? Those mercs I saw inside the tourism office. You're one of them, aren't you? Part of some hired hit squad sent by Picus. You should know that they're not really your friends, given the plans they had for you. They're just colleagues. Second grade army rejects, really. Yes, sir, no, sir, no imagination. Not like me. Picus plans to kill you as soon as his job is done. Try imagining that. Ha! <laughs> yeah, right. I found a pocket secretary on your colleague's body. He had orders to kill a man named Walker. Apparently Everett doesn't like his imagination. You're Walker, aren't you? Everett's your boss. Jeez. You're serious, aren't you? After all the times I... Corporate fucking rats, this is bullshit. Just because I like to ask questions, you know? Because I take initiative. Doesn't a man's word mean anything anymore? Depends on the man. Give me the reader I need. No more games. What? All right. Yeah, okay, here, all yours. See, I'm courteous to you. You're courteous to me. I don't owe those backstabbing assholes anything anymore. You have my word that I'm out of this now. I'll disappear. So what do you say? Let's walk away like gentlemen. I got what I came for. Right. The disc you have, it's got something to do with what happened at Panchea. Part of some program that got all confused. Me knowing just that much is probably why they want to kill me. Doesn't take much, apparently. What do you mean, confused? Calls itself Hele now. Got all mixed up out there, broke itself into bits and pieces. My boss has been hiring the best to recover whatever traces he can before it, or she, or whatever, puts itself back together. You want to know more? You should ask her yourself. I think I just might. 
Well done, Adam. Inserting the disk into the requisite drive will allow us to integrate the missing data. Which will accomplish what exactly? We are not sure yet. She believes it will recover the real human. Work out. Yeah. I recommend accessing the data in a secure location. Your safe house. They will not disturb us there. Užíváte si vyhlídku. Hezký město, že jo? Nemám ti co dalšího říct. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Wouldn't treat a dog like that. Když bychom tak mohli zastřelit každýho auga, co uvidí. Další. Where are you going? Did you bring anything to drink? You bust into a man's home, you should at least bring a drink. Are you Johnny Gunn? That's right. What do you want? Have you heard about your wife? Which one? Excuse me? I've been married a bunch of times. Which wife are we talking about? Angela's dead. Sorry to be the one to tell you. They found her body in an alley. Yeah, well, you're not the one to tell me, so... I appreciate your way of trying to break it to me, though. Do you know if she died quick or not? No, I don't. I hope so. Angie didn't deserve to suffer. So you did know already? Your detective friend called, told me to sit tight and wait for you, so here I am, sitting tight. Being cooperative. 
Is that a bell tower patch on your jacket? Yeah, so? Let's just say I'm familiar with bell tower. What does that mean? Familiar how? It doesn't mean anything. It's just that I dealt with the company a while back, that's all. Really? You know, you look familiar. We didn't work together, did we? Did you know Giradelli or maybe Powell? No, I doubt I knew them personally. That's too bad. We were all in New South Wales together. I thought maybe you... <laughs> Never mind. And they're all doing fine now, relatively. Australia. You were there during the Civil War? That's right. And that was only the beginning. Not my first choice, believe me, but... Uh, Bell Tower wasn't all that big on choice. Send you where they want, make you do what they want, replace parts of you whenever and however they want. I didn't choose to be augmented either. Not when it first happened. Apparently we're supposed to be grateful. Alloy is so much better than skin, right? At least, that's how they sold it to me. For some things it is. Not for everything. I can walk through fire, but sand won't stick between my toes. I can shove a knife through my hand. But I can't trust what I feel. Even my dreams are made of alloy. Both of your hands are made of alloy? Fingers are for human beings, Mr. Gunn. What you have is so much greater. <laughs> and then they told me what they want me to do, and what would happen to me if I didn't. Well, let me tell you something. That's not me anymore. It hasn't been for a very long time. They found a partial print on Angela's neck. It belongs to whoever strangled her. My hands were designed to kill in wars no one's ever heard of. I couldn't leave a trace on someone's skin even if I wanted to. They did it so you can kill better. So I'd never get caught. Ironic, right? Being a good killer is probably what saves me here. Or, you still think I killed Angela? I'm sorry for what Bell Tower did to you. Don't be. They gave me tools they want me to have. That it was in their interest for me to have. But the decision to use them, that was all me. Now, if you don't mind, I'd very much like to be left alone. It's all right here. I've got it all here. Anything. We'll take care of it. Well, I'm to share it for the Europe. run by criminals and 